we spoke about the nine, the ten different variety of banana. Mm -hmm. So this is the third one. This one is called one hand bandit. One hand bandit. So it bears only one hand, and the fingers can be two feet long. Ah. Yeah. So if we were to sell Ooh. all of these. Ooh, look at this. You, <laughs> if you sell all of this, you'll be a rich man, man. Well, remember us when you get rich, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. <laughs> you try. All right, I'll, I'll try. I'll leave you honest. <laughs> yeah, I'll try because there are a lot of persons asking the same question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> My Jam Hearts family, how you do? Awesome, awesome. I'm excited today because not only am I in my neck of the woods, in Westmoreland, my parish, I am also about to do a farm tour. And now I got the farm tour with Mr. Wedderburn on his Bluefields Organic Farm. He's going to talk to us about shows, all kind of plants that he has here, including medicinal herbs and fruits. We'll also be doing some taste tests, I understand as well. I'm looking forward to that and you should too by the way though if you are brand new here meaning you're here for the first time I'm gonna implore you to join me I'm on a journey to showcase the real Jamaica the real people of Jamaica the real product of Jamaica experiences like these in Jamaica attractions in Jamaica medicinal herbs of Jamaica and I don't want you to miss any of that so if you've not yet subscribe to my channel for whatever reason don't feel bad I invite you now to just hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification that way you should be on all my latest videos. Let's go to Mr. Wedderburn and his farm tour. Here we are guys, Mr. Keith and his <laughs> wife. That was a dog, that was a dog here. Keith and his wife, beautiful wife from Bluefields Organic Farm. Thank you for welcoming us, sir and madam. What can we expect to see on, the, on, the, on this tour? On this tour, you'll see a wide variety of fruit. Uh huh fruits, vegetables and herbs. In fact, you'll see over 50 different fruits uh -huh. in different stages of development. 50? 50. Over All right. 50 uh -huh. different stages of development. Uh -huh. You'll also see herbs uh -huh. naturally, uh -huh. uh, naturally grown uh -huh. and a few vegetables. Awesome. Right. Looking we'll also get an opportunity to also sample the fruits that are ready oh, to oh, be yeah, harvest. Right. All right. All right. And of course, where is the dog? Frisky. Frisky? We'll get to see Frisky too. <laughs> Come Frisky. Here is Frisky, guys. <laughs> Here is Frisky. We'll get to see Frisky. All right, looking forward. Can't wait. Let's go. So the farms start here. We're going to be going down the step. And um, as you drive, you're going to know a step that you're encouraged to walk with a little bit of care. All right. <laughs> All right, sir. A lot of herbs which just grow naturally right here. So the first one we're looking at right here is the guinea hen, guinea hen weed. Mm -hmm. Right? Bad boy, guinea hen again. Right. And, um. Oh, what's that? That's a, that's a, sheep. a sheep. That's a sheep. That's ah, you see the sheep a little later. Yeah, that's why okay. your sheep, right? Yeah. And the guinea hen weed, uh -huh. um, it's one of those herbs that in Jamaica and around the world is a great demand for it right now. And huge a, demand. Huge demand. <laughs> and it, it, uh, it has different, different medicinal value. Mm -hmm. Some persons just inhale it for a headache. Mm -hmm. Some persons use it well one of the big things that has been used so there has been some scientific proof that it helps in reduction of cancer yeah man cancer cells yeah man right yeah man and um so this is one of the the herbs mm -hmm. which is naturally grown right here on the farm and um it's in abundance so i can see i'm gonna take a piece of it as well because you can hear me got a little bit stuffy so i'm gonna take up one piece right now they're gonna give me the root yes it's hard you know one, one thing about this thing it's hard to pop all right, that's fine, man. That's fine. Don't worry. I have enough. I think I have enough, man. I'm smelling it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the real deal. The root is even more potent. Yes, 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 yes. Cool, cool. All right, cool, cool. The guinea hen. All right. All right. So a more guinea hen here. No, I this see. A, no, this is well, yeah, more. more yeah, my more guinea hen there. Yeah, yeah more guinea hen, and this is also what you call a strong buck. That's a strong buck. Yeah. Oh, I read about yeah, the strong back. Yeah, is the root of it? Anymore? Yeah, yeah, but don't pull it out. Don't, you, you have <laughs> well, more? We have more. So yeah, man, but no, man, don't pull it out. Don't so we can it. show you what it looks like. No, man, it's all right. No, we're not going to show it. So the strong back, so you boil, you boil the root. Uh -huh. And um, some persons swear by it's the men that it helps to uh, bring power to them. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, I, yes. I can't speak to that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, That's I what I heard. Know. Yes. That's what I heard. Um, touch it again. Strong back. Strong back. Strong back. Yes, man. And guys, the guinea hen, did another big video on guinea hen. Uh, as well, you should check it. Link in the description. A lot of medicinal values. This 
bad boy here, Guinean. And not very far, we have the Spanish Negro. Spanish Negro. Right. This is also a medicinal herb also. Mm -hmm. Used as a matter of fact, some persons even use it as it is. They cook it along with color and things like that. So yeah. I, if you grow in abundance in Jamaica, and if you want to cook it, well, you do it when it's um, less hard mm -hmm. at a younger stage. Mm -hmm. But so this is one that helps with cold, help with fever. Mm -hmm. Also, so this is Spanish needle. Gen Spanish needle, yep. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Let me go along. I, um, this is this is um, Basida. 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 Yeah, Basida. Yes, it yes, also yes. has some medicinal yes. value as well. But so it's all here. Yes, all Basida. Here. Basida. More guinea hen, guys. More guinea hen. Guinea hen yeah, man. load abundance here. This is ram goat. Oh, you saw it. There. Yes, man. I know yes. it, man. <laughs> I know some other men, so guess what? Yes. Good, good cold, good cold remedy. Good yes. for cough. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right. Ram dash along, yes. my friend. Yeah, man. All right, good, 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 good. And right here is the leaf of life, also. Right leaf here. of life, leaf of life. Yeah. All of this stuff just grow natural, natural wild. You didn't necessarily plant. No, as no, no, no. Yeah, these, these are just these are show up here. Just show up. Yeah. God be the glory. All right, and in the distance, guys, you're seeing some blue mountains. Over where so we are actually yes we are in blue fields in Westmoreland Jamaica. What you're seeing there is a area, Dalistan I think right Dalistan no, yeah. content the, content the cave mountain and goes cave all mountain the, cave all the way mountain. back down to, to blue fields blue, fi blue fields on the beach side right and mm -hmm. more more Spanish niggle look at this Spanish niggle galore this man have it wild growing here and all the bees are attracted to it. This is banana here. Banana. So we, oh. in terms of banana, we just say in terms of banana, we have ten different varieties of banana growing right here on the farm. Ten. Ten different varieties. So I'll show you all ten. All right. So cool. that one is the honey banana. All right. Cool, cool, right. cool. Honey banana. Honey banana. That's one. Uh -huh. Just two over there. That's um, KS seventeen. Uh huh. That one is big. Right. So. So that's not planting. That's banana as well. No, no, no. And when I think about banana, banana normally takes nine months mm -hmm. from the time you plant it, mm -hmm. and when it when it bears, it bears once and then it dies. Mm. So to get a new banana, you have to use the suckers. And you have two varieties of sucker. You have the sword suckers and you have the water suckers. Normally, the sword sucker, the water suckers, you get rid of those and you keep the sword suckers. So you're looking, so you're looking at the plums over there. Mm -hmm. Those are the red plums that normally you'll see them on the streets being sold. It's a favorite among children. Is that what we call it hog plum, right? No, this is not no. hog plum. There's oh. another version of that one. It's called hog plum. Ah, right. okay, okay, yeah, all right. Plum. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And this one is guava. Guava, no, guava, yes. There's no yes. guava on it, but this also has medicinal. Apart from the all fact right. that it's rich in antioxidants uh -huh. and rich in vitamin C, yeah. the guava itself, the leaves have medicinal value. Because if you have, for example, a diarrhea, you uh -huh. make a tea with it, and, Gone. and it and, and it's all over. Cool, cool. That tree we call that one bread nut. Mm -hmm. And bread nut is what you normally give to the, the sheep or goat in when you have extreme dry, extreme dry, dry weather mm -hmm. and you don't have any feed, you'll cut the bread out and give it to them. Bread nut. Bread nut tree. I remember that tree from school days. Right. And this one is the noni. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Again. You have, you have, some, you have some visitors, man. You have some what's here? Yes. Noni, guys. And what do you guys know about noni? Organically grown. Another power fruit, you know. Good. Medicinal, medicinally very rich. Noni. Right, so we have coconut over there. Coconut takes approximately three years to bear. Mm -hmm. right? These coconuts are, are not bearing as yet, so you'll see coconut as a go along. Alright, good, good. We, on my left was our sour orange, our civil orange, rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. Uh -huh. This is also the most resilient of all the, are the citrus. Mm -hmm. So when you want the seed stuck, you normally start with the sour orange. Uh -huh. When you want what? The seed stocks, if you work, oh, oh, yes, yeah, seed, yeah, seed stocks, we, you normally work from with mm. sour orange okay. because they are very resilient more all the others. Ah, cool, cool. We spoke about the nine, the ten different varieties of banana, mm -hmm. so this is the third one. This one is called One Hand Bandit. <laughs> one Hand Bandit. So it bears only one hand and the fingers can be two feet long. Ah. Yeah. So, that's third, okay. that's third, so that's the third banana to learn about. Okay, okay. And then the, the fourth one now would have been um, these uh, we call a regular planting, uh -huh. right? Yeah, yeah. That's the one that you fry or yeah. make chips. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Okay. Or you make a porridge. Yes, yes. Lots of lemon grass. More lemon grass. A fever grass. So. Yes, fever grass. And one of the good things about the fever grass also here, when the fever grass you use the fever grass on your border, mm -hmm. um, the goats don't love it. Okay, okay. So once a goat comes and smells it, it feels like a little fox happening over here. Yeah, so yeah, it doesn't yeah. want to stay. Oh, they move. They move along. They just okay. travel along. Interesting. Yes. 
So it's good to have it on the border. So it serves well for the goat. It also serves in terms of, remember, it's a natural repellent. Yes, yes. So the insects and things that would want to come on your farm and be a, a pest to you, mm -hmm. the fever grass helps to deter them. Awesome, awesome, right? awesome, good. awesome. Yeah. All right, so over here we have cherry. These are regular garden cherry or Barbados cherry, but there isn't any cherry on this tree right now. All right, cool, cool, cool. Down here we have this one. Anybody remember the name of the tree? Oregano. Okay. It's oh. our Chinese mint. Chinese mint. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And it's some people. How am I doing, man? I'm doing well, natural. Yes. No, some other stuff. They call it our Chinese time. Chinese mint, Chinese time. Yeah. So some people use it. They use it to make tea. Some people use it for cooking. If you're making a porridge or whatever you're cooking, it's good for it. Mm -hmm. Up there, that's the. Cherry right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you want to go closer to the tree? Can I cherry mm -hmm. cherry. Oh, is that oh different so type? we can taste. Yeah, you can taste it. All right. What's yeah. the difference between this and our regular cherry? Yeah, it tastes completely different. The seeds are also different. The seeds differ. All right. So Miss Jamrock, guys, we're gonna <laughs> do a taste test. Mm. Tell me about it, Miss Jamrock. Yes, mm. nice. Um, so I'm tasting something like passion fruit. It's a bit like passion fruit. It is sweet. Mm -hmm. Why am I not over described? <laughs> and you know, so the seed is completely different, right? Yes. There's, the, there's a big round seed in it. Let's go take one, go okay. Black. But what do you call it again? Barbados. Sur Sur Surinam, Surinam cherry. Surinam cherry. Okay. Surinam can I have one? Let me have one. All right. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it has uh, some more grooves and stuff mm -hmm. on here. I see. It's not completely round. No. It's like passion fruit. You mm. want to taste it? Mix with. Cool. All right. Over there, you know, uh, just in front of us, that's the... Oh, it's nice! Yeah. Come on, can I have one more? Of course. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It don't taste like regular cherry. It's not ta as tangy as it, certainly, right? No. Yeah. Nice. All right, now I'm going to feast on it, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to leave some. All right, good, good. So I have four. Serenam cherry. Moon plum tree. Mm -hmm. Then we have here, this is the allspice or pimento tree. Mm -hmm. And um, as we know, it's called allspice because um, it has multiple flavors. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, in terms of the pimento, this is one of the, this is one of the trees that is in greatest demand in Jamaica and is greatly abused also because the every part of the tree has use. The, mm -hmm. the leaves have use, the bark have use, mm -hmm. the chunk have use. The seeds, of course. And the seeds have, have of use. Course, so of everybody course. come and take a piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and before you know it, there's no tree left behind. This so, is the secret to Jamaican <laughs> jerk, guys. Yes. So this is one of the tree that has been at, um, its life is at check right. Now. Yes, yes, yes. All right, pimento and the mint. Yes, here we have some mint. Jamaican peppermint. Peppermint. Mm-hmm. And um, as it, the smell alone is captivating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you, know, you have another mint with the leaves are broader. They call it the black mint. Mm -hmm. okay. But this one is the peppermint, the, the final leaves one. I see you have here the mulberry. Yeah, this is mulberry. Mm. So um, you, you normally eat them when they are... Alright guys, so we're going to have a feast here today because there's all kind of fruits. All kind of fruits you're running into. So this is the mulberry and the one you eat is the, the darker it is the sweeter it is. Yes. Who want to try? Who want to try? Yeah, so the darker ones, mm -hmm. they are the, they're the sweeter ones. Mm -hmm. Try it. Yeah man, definitely. Who oh, you want to try it? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mulberry guys. Mulberry. Stay tuned for an and, exclusive and, video. And this one, this and one, this the beard, mulberry tree. It bears pretty much all year round mm -hmm. and, and easy to cultivate. Mm -hmm. Another unusual fruit here in Jamaica. So stay tuned for it. I'm sorry, the burner. I eat off all of them and I'm giving on my. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to give us some. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, guys. Yes. Oh, that yes. one. Ah, oh, I'm yes. sorry. Yes. I'm yes. sorry. Yes. Yes. It's a good number yeah, of them to go with. All right, good, good. All right, bring, all it right. Jamma, bring it down, my jammer. Bring it down, my jammer. Bring it down. Some more red, red, green one up there. All right, yes, leave it. I guess we're going to leave that for the next. next all right, that's, that's fine. That's next, fine. Next set of visitors. All right, right good, good. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so thanks for the warning. <laughs> more more dog blood, yeah, man. Yes, this is dog blood. Mm. Right. And uh, anybody, uh, any particular re um, medicinal value, anybody know what the dog blood is good for? Well, I think I know. And my viewers, guys, you know, I've been studying some of these stuff, so you know, I have a little bit idea about it. But I know the but dog blood is good for female issues, menstrual menstrual issues and fertility issues, right? The dog blood is a powerhouse plant found growing wild here in Jamaica as well. Right, all right, sir? Huh? Right, correct. All right, all right. 
And so we have we have we have we have these as I said they're just growing abundance right now. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so this is one more banana. This one is called a Chinese banana. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yes, yes, yes. So we got about five? Yeah man, about. About five. Yeah. Now what is this, sir? This is what we call loquat, L O Q. Oh, this is a loquat. L O Q U A T, loquat. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what you're looking at is a blossom. So, we're going to be looking, we're going to search diligently and hope we can find just one fruit, even one. Yes. Yeah. We're going to be looking. The loquat. So, this, guys, stay tuned, guys. This is another unusual fruit here in Jamaica. Yes, so, see what this All right. Oh, so this is typical. So that's a typical size. See a, see a, see a younger one right there. Uh -huh. see oh, one? yes, yes, yes. See yes. a younger one up there. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is what it looks like when it's ripe. And um, these are the blossoms. These are the blossoms over here. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, is at the earlier stage of development. Mm -hmm. yeah, so this is the younger one. Mm -hmm. right. okay, and they cool. are very, very tasty. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Very tasty. What does it taste like? Oh, what do you say? It tastes like a little mix between mango and pineapple. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, very tasty. All right, we're gonna come back to that, guys. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> then, well, you know, we have aloe vera, uh -huh. our single Bible. Single Bible, man, yeah. another powerhouse, you know, man, another Perfect powerhouse, yeah. another powerhouse. I, had, I actually have a fee, a special video on that. Link in the description to that one as well, guys. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some, something else, you know. I say passion. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Passion right here. Passion. I see it up the top here, guys. I'm not sure if you can see, but. Look with me, there's one right there, my brother. You see one? Yeah, man. Oh, yes, right here. Whoa. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And you know, I never see it. Yeah, man, that's a passion. <laughs> Lucky we. One passion. Passion two, fruit. Two one here. Another one? That's two up there, no? See there. Oh, cool, cool. Passion fruit. Something I never realized they were here. Yeah, man, passion fruit. Yes, they're here. Cool, cool, cool. Passion oh, fruit. see another one there. What? What? I want to look there today. <laughs> Three. All right. Um, that's a, those are Gross Mitchell. Gross Mitchell. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. And then Robusta. So that's yeah. a seven. Robusta. What's, yes. a, what's so special about the Robusta? It's just like a regular um, eating banana. Nothing special. Mm. Okay. Uh, over there we also have Captus, our tuna. Uh -huh. the, the flower can be eaten. The, the, the leaves can the be... The flower can be eaten? Yes. In Mexico they eat it. Oh, really? Yes. Part of the Mexican delicacies. Oh, cool, oh, cool. Oh. Um, in Jamaica, you know, we use the we use the flour for various purposes. One of the things persons use it, persons use it with their hair. Persons mm -hmm. also use it to make face masks. Uh -huh. It's also eaten. Mm -hmm. It can be eaten just like you would cut up your cabbage or anything like that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And one of the things that um, well, I have tried it before. You could soak the tuna mm -hmm. in coconut water, and it heads right for the back pain. That's what I heard. Yeah. Hold on, man. If overlook something, man. What is this here? Well, that's Orange. Gorgeous. Yes, a sorange. Sorange, another yeah. sorange. Okay, so sorange tree and there's a bird nest. And normally yes. with the bird nest, there's a wasp. And it's, it's there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. So we're going to take a chance here yes. now. going to take a chance. This is a bird nest here. Yes. Uh, you, you don't know what kind of bird, obviously, right? You don't know. You, you didn't see it before? No, I didn't see it before. All right. But, but so this looks pretty new, though. Yes. But normally where there's the bird nest, yeah. there's a wasp nest there to protect the birds. Yes. So, so the question is, that's a wasp nest. So let's see how close we can get without getting stinked. Who is with me? <laughs> That's a watch this, guys. That's a watch this. All right, so the question is, is it the watch this first or the bird nest? Is the wasp protecting the birds or the yeah. bird seeking protection from the wasp? Ah, normally, I don't know. I think, I, it's, I, I, I think the wasp is there first and the bird. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, yeah. I think the bird comes after. <laughs> I haven't realized that the wasp is there. Yes, yes. I was wondering what the purpose is. So now we know something new. We know the purpose of wasp now. Yeah. yeah. As well as I said, I'm going to put up them something there. But you never know, most of them serve another purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Anywhere you see, those that could burn, those that could quit. Yes. Anywhere you see the bird nest. Mm -hmm. Because remember, I told you, and I didn't know there was a wasp nest. And I said, wherever you see it, I just see it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good. These are regular oranges, mm -hmm. like parsley brown, regular oranges. Mm -hmm. All right. These cool. are more pineapple than this one. No, this is another citrus. But mm -hmm. this one is called Artonic. Artonic. Yes. What do you know about Artonic, Jamie Well, I know it's um, originated here. Aha. It's between orange and tangerine. All right. Yeah. Artonic, Jamaican Artonic, made right here in Jamaica. Is there a fruit on it? Yeah, just one baby one here. One baby one here, guys. That's some Artinique. All right, so down here you now we have mango. We have four oh. different varieties right. of mangoes. No, we're in prime time now, yeah, man. We're in mango. So lots Ma of mango trees. Yes, you have, yeah, we have four different varieties. We have eight mango trees on property, four yeah. different varieties. Uh huh. We have the Keat variety. So the, these are Keat. The Keat variety? Keat, K E I T T. 
Oh, not here, Keith. No, not you as in Keith. Yeah, not as in Keith. Oh, yes, yes. oh, by the way, his name is... Oh, oh yeah, where you have mentioned earlier, guy. His name is Keith. So yeah. I was thinking he... You know, he, 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 he created his own mango. Yeah. But this is not the case. Okay. Yeah. So this was before me. Uh -huh. So it's K-E-I-T-T. -T, uh -huh. And these are the mango, one of the mango that is um, last harvested each year. Uh -huh. So when all the other mangoes are out, this uh -huh. is the mango that is in. So this is new to me because yes. I'm familiar with the number 11, familiar with the, the um, stringy. But never see the key. The, the, yeah, no, never no. see the key. Yes, so so it's actually a popular mango. It's a popular mango yes, here. Sir. Especially in the in the hotels. Okay, okay, yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. In the tourism industry. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Yes. And this is now? So this is Keith, right? So yeah. both of them are Keith. Oh, this is Keith as well? Yeah, yeah, this is Keith. All right, well. and it's mango time, guys. Not, none is quite ready yet, but yes. it's getting there. But it's getting there. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. And um, you want to count it? So, well, there's a tangerine tree, but if you want to count all the mango first, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, man, we can count Yeah, yes. Yes. So these are all, did you notice, um, well, last year, we had very little mango mm. and it seems that this is compensating for last year so there you notice yeah man i realize i realize mango, right? yeah. i realize this year boy there's yeah. a lot of mangoes here Sandra, what's happening here Sandra? mango a mango time yeah. oh but it's, it's coming it's close it's close, it's coming close. <laughs> all right all right so and this one too looking cool look, look, yeah, look like we're getting close one so if you need to this year we have to use um sticks to start uh, Elev uh, elevate the limb. Wow, wow, wow. These are lovely. So this is the same, what do you call it again? Same. Keep mango. All these are keep. So different mango over here. Now these are Julie. Uh -huh. This is Julie? Yeah, this is Julie. Okay, all right, good, good. We have more over here. Too. All right. One of my favorite mango guys, Julie. Yeah. On Mr. Keith. What, um, what do you call it? Bluefield Farm. Bluefield Organic Farm. Bluefield. By the way, by the way, you guys need to stop now and give him some thumbs up right now. We're learning a lot. Not true. Give him some thumbs up right now, man. Come, 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 come. Cool, thank you. All right, good. Yes, yeah, so again, here we have some more Julie mango. Mm -hmm. And um, Julie mango in general, well, most of these, these mangoes that we have right here in property, mm. and on average, these mangoes are between 100 and 200 and 250. What do you mean? Two fifty dollars in Jamaican dollars. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, between a hundred and two fifty. So if you're buying a single mango, that's yeah. what the, that's what the yes, price. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. That's yes. a market value for yes, each mango. Yes, 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 yes. So if you so turn your camera, so you look at that. So if we were to sell Ooh, all of these. Ooh, look at this. You, if you sell all of this, you'll be a rich man, man. Well, remember us when you get rich, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. <laughs> you try. All right, I'll, I'll, leave try. I'll leave you honest. Yeah, I'll try because there are a lot of persons asking the same question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. You have a lot, of, a lot of people to remember. <laughs> all right, come on, let's go closer. All so right, so, this, so these now are East Indian. This is East Indian? Yeah, this is our East oh, Indian. Oh, yeah, but they're getting. Uh, Pity we didn't come when them sat right, man. <laughs> in there. But you'll have a market. I mean, you sell it them, right? Well, you won't be able to eat all of them. No, I will. <laughs> but separate from selling, remember, we also have a homestay. Okay. So we have this um, farm to table experience. Yes, yes. And so persons will come in and do the tour, they'll sample mango, and we also have the farm to table experience. Farm, oh, wonderful. And we, wonderful. Also, we also store products, extra products, we store them that in outer seas you can have them to eat. All right, good. And in terms of the farm to table experience, guys, you need more information on that, there's a link in the description to Mr. Keith Weatherburn's Bluefields Organic, Organic Farm. Farm and Homestay. Link in the description as well. Alright. So these now, these are Hayden. Hades? Hayden. H-A-D-E-N. H-A-D-E-N. Hayden, okay. Hayden. Another type of mango here. Yeah. Is this a, pop is this a popular one here in Jamaica? Um, I think some persons call it, um, it's so I don't think they call it John, something. John, John Bellyful? Yeah, maybe. Oh, because they're usually big. Yeah, they're big and red. They're normally, yeah. these are some pretty mangoes. Yeah, not my favorite. They're too big and fleshy. Fleshy. They're yeah. normally, when they're ripe, they're yeah. a little bit of enough yellow and uh, some red. Yes, yes, yes. And I nice. remember. Okay, good. So this is very Hayden. big, very big. Hayden. Hayden. All right. So four varieties. We have Hayden, we uh -huh. have East Indian, we uh -huh. have Julie, uh -huh. and Keith. All right. What And what is this now? Is this now? Still, still um, Hayden. This one looks close at the almost ready. Yeah, this one here? This, is, this, this one, this one, yeah, 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 this one right here. Yeah, this one look ready. That one up there, yeah, yeah. it's getting there. All right, good, good, good. All right. And, and this is, what do you call the dog again? Frisky. Frisky not leaving an inch, man. Yeah, frisky. Big up Frisky, big up Frisky right now, <laughs> guys. Frisky working, working hard for the boss. These are what is this now? Nesberry. You fall off the tree? Yes. Or, or somebody, I mean. Oh, well, these, these look fairly Oh. Yeah, yeah, man. But some of them, they, they, they didn't drop off naturally, though. It doesn't look that much. But well, these are, these are, red, these are nesbred that can, can ripe. Okay. Will ripe. Okay. Cool. Yeah. cool. And as uh, a matter of fact, the majority, let me just say to you that the majority of the trees that you see on the property right here, the uh -huh. majority of them, uh -huh. 
they are pretty much 10 year old there are just a few trees that we didn't plant so this tree right here this nesbury tree uh -huh. is one of the trees that we didn't plant oh cool go 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 and in terms of nesbury nesbury is one of the favorite food for jamaicans and nesbury there's a lot of different varieties of nesbury right mm. in jamaica mm. there's one tree up there which is nearly 100 years old it's one of the sweetest in the world. when you're eating those nesbury you have to take off your shoes and wiggle your toes uh, that's how sweet it is yeah okay it's not yeah. in season now though we'll be trying we'll hope we'll we can see. Find one. all right nesbury guys nesbury all right yeah, these are apples. original jamaican apple the ot80 yeah. apple it's no, not the bag. Oh, yeah, the bag. not yeah. seasoned it all right it's our ginger Arrow root. okay correct and what do we know we know about arrow root uh-huh Good. These are a matter of these again. We didn't plant them. We just saw them growing. I didn't know what it was at first, and then I did my research. Realized we have arrow mm. right here. So somebody who was what probably good, before, probably you, before our me. parents, our grandparents, or wherever. Yes, good. Ha planted it here. All right. Historic, uh, traditionally, it's a, it's a traditional food for Jamaicans, you know. Right. Our root. I've used a lot in porridge, porridges and stuff like right. that. Matter of fact, I heard it was a, in terms of infant formula before we had formulas this mm. was like the first yes, that used yes, to be yes, yes. very nutritious right. this tree right here we have the mm. these are avocado or, or pear uh -huh. this one was growing here before we get here uh -huh. except that we cut the old tree and let the younger one uh -huh. sprung to life okay cool cool Good. and um, it has been doing well and mm. this one we planted two other pear tree that uh -huh. one is a simon pear uh -huh. very special pear uh -huh. over here now it's tarapo uh -huh. In Jamaica, you have two main varieties. You have the green skin variety and you uh -huh. have the purple. Uh huh. Starple. Starple. Yeah. And um, white skull starple, when you. Uh, let me bag, pull my bag out. So, white skull starple, so you have two things in terms of close names. You have star apple mm -hmm. and you have. There's another apple that you're going to be seeing. You have. Yeah. And what we're going to be doing, we're going we're gonna to demonstrate to you why it is called star apple. Mm -hmm. Cause, All right. Because when you look at it. Pull my bag. Yeah, look at, when you look at it, you can't see any star. Mm. Mm -hmm. But we're going to find where the star is. So here we go. Good. There you go. Ah, okay. So that's a star. That's a star. That's a star in the star apple. Ah, hold on. Cool, cool. Okay, cool. So you, you have go? to cut it uh, cross, cross section. Yeah, cross section. Ah, cool. To see the star. All right. So this is the reason it's called star apple. Cool. Anybody want to try it? Okay, cool. Yeah, yes. man, no problem. Yeah. You mean, you mean, Miss Jamrock? Always. I never said no. <laughs> no, 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 That's Miss Jamrock, guys. Remember her? Miss Jamrock at YouTube. Make sure you check out her channel as well. Also, well, down here now we have um, the bird pepper, or cayenne pepper. Yes. Yes. The cayenne pepper. Yes. Stay tuned for that video again as well. The right. cayenne pepper. Here they are. Yes, yes. These are just growing up. Not quite ready yet. Yes. Green. Let's just hold one in your hand so, so our viewers can see it. Yeah, so you, see, you can see, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you can see. That's it's, uh, it might, it's, it's the same color as the leaves. It's a little bit tricky, but yeah, you should be able to see it now. And uh, when it's big, it gets red. red. When it's ready. Yeah. Well, we have we have others on the property, so we'll, we'll see we'll that before we get it. Yeah. Cayenne pepper, very, very nutritious as well. Cassava. And we have two different varieties of cassava. Cassava is used to make a bami, and bami is like a flat pancake. And the cassava, the Arawak which were some of the, well, the Tainos, not the Arawak, the Arawak is the language. Mm -hmm. The Tainos were the first native of Jamaica. They were very popular with the cassava also. So mm -hmm. the cassava we used to make a um, flat pancake. Mm -hmm. It's also used in the production of red stripe. Mm. It can also be used um, in... Same a, red stripe as in red stripe beer. Right, right. Yeah. And so a person who having a problem with the regular flour, the gluten in the flour, this would be a good alternative in terms of um, cassava. So, so just to just to expand on that a little bit. So this is the cassava, guys. So it's a root. It's a root. It's yes. a root tuber. Yes. And it's a root that we use. We pull the root, and there's a special process that is used to get it to an edible state, right. right? Essentially, and it's um it's juice and squeeze and all of them kind of stuff. Uh, more information on that in the description of, of of cassava. But this here is a a popular uh product, a popular food here in Jamaica. With a lot of history coming from the Tainos, as this gentleman had said earlier. So lots of learning, lots of learning. Here we have these are coconut, and so today we'll be um, we'll be sampling the coconut. But All these right. are not very tall, so we can pick it from right here. Man, so. this is the life. This is the life, man. This is the life. The coconut guys, and he's gonna pick the coconut. No. So I'm gonna <laughs> turn it, turn it, and it eventually it's gonna give way. Uh huh. 
on the Bluefields Organic Farm it's coming tour. Coming already? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good. All right. Good. good. That's good. one. Guys, so these we're gonna be going up at some point and when we're climbing the when we're going up that elevation we're gonna need some to replenish mm. <laughs> Replen right. re replenish your stock. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so your rehydrate. So this All is what right. we're gonna to use to rehydrate. Yeah, over here you now we have lychee or Chinese guinea. Uh-huh. This it's tree chan. Same thing, right? Both of them? Yes, both yeah. of them are the same tree. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most expensive fruit in Jamaica right now, today. Yeah, yeah. Right. But it's yeah. not an easily um, cultivated fruit. Mm -hmm. um, this one, for example, has been here for roughly eight years and hasn't been here yet. So, mm -hmm. what we did recently, I realized that probably it needs some more light. So, if you notice, we did some cutting of the trees close by. Uh -huh. I'm going to give it some more light and hopefully. But it's but is not the guinea that you cut, man? The regular huh? guinea? Yeah, no. You just, oh, you, when you cut, you just prune it. It's going okay, to okay. gonna come all back. I thought you sacrificed the regular no, no, guinea no, no, for the Chinese no, no, guinea. No, no, no. Oh, that's a discrimination. You know? No, no, no. No discrimination. All right, all right. No, 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 no. All right. But I think I heard that they say it, is, is this is the one that bears every five years? Am I right or right? No, no. When it wants to start beer, it bears. Every year? Yeah, it bears. Okay. Yeah. There was one I ran into some time ago that they said is every five years. No, not this one. Okay, cool. But this Chinese one. Chinese Guinea. Yeah, but he hasn't beer yet. All right. This is it. So we're looking forward for that coffee. Yes. So these trees are Rabina. Uh huh. So you get the Rabina berry. Java uh, plum, we call it. Yes, but there isn't any on it right now. Yes, yes. I'm going to have them start bearing as yet. Yeah. So I, but very soon we expect them to bear. You know, it's funny because a lot of these trees. Well, not a lot, but quite a number of them that you're highlighting. We actually did a feature of them already, you know. I did a special feature on this one called the Java Plum. Uh, Jamaican Ribena. There's a link in the description, guys. So this man knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. This is validation for him and validation for me. Awesome. Jamaican Ribena. So we're trying to make new plants. So normally what you do is just, um, you just take up, you just make a cut, make a cut, mm -hmm. and take out a piece of the skin mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. You do it all around, mm -hmm. and then you band it with some uh, material like mm -hmm. earth or mm -hmm. sawdust, and then it will grow roots. Mm -hmm. Once it grows roots, mm -hmm. and you can see the roots mm -hmm. comes out in the plastic, you just cut this off and then plant it. Mm -hmm. The advantage here is that um, when you plant it, you're going to get a, a plant similar mm -hmm. or exact to the one that you cut it from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you plant the seed, you might get variation, but once you once you get it from the limb right here, mm -hmm. then you're hundred percent sure that exactly what you're gonna what get. What do you call it again? So it's ear layer and farmer grafting. Grafting, okay. Yeah, grafting. All right. So and this is this is consistent with the whole organic farming that's yeah. going on here as well. Yes, yeah, this is consistent. Okay? Awesome, awesome. What, what we're doing here is all natural. What we use is all natural. Awesome, right. awesome, awesome. In terms of the banana, in terms of care for banana, the cleaner you can keep the banana mm -hmm. to keep it free from pests and disease. Right? Really? Yes. I, I thought I thought the, that outer layer was supposed to protect it. No, that's no. what I'm hiding. That's what they're hiding it. So yeah, so the cleaner you can keep it. Okay, yeah. The somewhere. cleaner you keep it, you keep it away from pests oh, and disease. Okay, the, okay. Keep, the cleaner you keep it. Oh cool, cool. Right. Oh all right, cool. And remember I said so this for example a typical example of the sword sucker. Yeah. You say resemble a sword? Yeah, yeah. Right, this is what you call a sword sucker. And this one's pretty tall. This one, this, one, this one might look more like the the water. Mm -hmm. The water sucker. But to the sword here, there's another sword around here. Yes, yes, yes. So that's the sword sucker. Yeah, and the sword one, what do you say about the sword The sword one? one is the best one for reproduction. So if you're going to be planting a sucker, yeah, yeah. if somebody's going to give you a sucker, if it's not a sword sucker, yeah. don't take it. Yeah, okay, cool. Right? Guys, more likely going to take you long for it to reach maturity or probably you do not get much anything much out of it. So the best one to plant is a sword sucker. Awesome. Thank you, sir. All right, now we're keeping an eye on you with the coconut. These are star fruits. Star fruits, so yes. So we had star apples and we have, now we have star fruits. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you have some baby ones here? Yes, yeah, so the difference is, so this one resembles a star from the outside. Mm -hmm. So it's called star fruit. And then the one we showed before, so this one. Star apple. So this one, it, it stars come from the outside. Oh. The next one. Oh, star on yeah. the inside. Yeah. yeah, so one star is on the inside and one star is on the outside. All right, cool. All right, so even though this is a young one, mm -hmm. but also, um, if you cut it, mm -hmm. so you will notice. So this is you also have your star right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Behind you we have lime over here. These are lime. Yes. Is it lime seeds now, boy? Like we have it. We, we, we used to have. A, we used to get so a lot we, of them back these, in the country. These are some bigger ones. We call these one English lime. Uh huh. So this, see, uh, 
Uh, all right. So, so I'll be going right over there. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, right. the local is a bigger for real. Right. This one says it's, it's English lime. English a little, lime. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. All right. So those, everybody should be familiar with lime or lemon. It's, this is the, the lime. same family. Yeah, same family. It's from the citrus family. So, yeah. Yes. So, so, but everybody, for somebody who's strange, you may not know what the lime is. Cut it and show them to me. Thanks. All right. Cut it crossway again. But everybody should. And it's the lime, is the juice that the juice we drink, we have from um, Right. And you can, well, the, the lime is used for various purposes. For example, you can add it to your favorite drink or your liquor. Some people add it to their, um, whether it's rum or mm -hmm. vodka or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, some person use it to clean their meat when they're cooking. Mm -hmm. Yes, as Sandra was saying, yeah, it can be used in cakes also. Yeah, the rind. And the rind, the outside, so mm -hmm. it's both the, the, the juice mm -hmm. and the outside of the rind can be used in the production of a cake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let's date back to the, um, the plantation era. Mm -hmm. This was also always used to help scurvy so among the, mm -hmm. the slaves mm -hmm. on the ship. They used to have scurvy mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. They used to use the lime to help. To mm. deal with that, mm. so it dates back to the plantation era. Yeah, yeah. Lots of health benefits are knowing this. In right. Jamaica, mm. it is believed mm -hmm. that um, if you, when if you have high blood pressure, you want to reduce it, mm -hmm. you could do that by up, having your coconut water, fresh jelly coconut water, and you apply a bit of lime juice, mm -hmm. and that's supposed to help mm. lower your blood pressure. All right, I'm, and I'm gonna tell my viewers right now, guys. To be honest with you, there are few beverages, in my opinion. As refreshing as this, I don't know if it's because I grew up with it, but let me tell you something. When this, when this lime here, when the juice is fresh green, freshly picked green lime, and mix it, we call it beverage. Uh, what, what, there's uh, another lime name. Aid, lime aid, no, no lime aid, man. There's another name, man. There's another name, man. There's another local name. Guys, if you remember the local name, put it in the comments. In the comments right now. There's not another lo local name, and the bushman they call it, right? I don't remember, but. It's, it's, it's there, and when you when you mix that and you put it with the ice, you know, well cold, you know, not no nice like that, you know, Mr. Weatherbird. All right. Yeah, man, seriously. Yeah, man, this is Black Giant of Pepper Elder. Yeah, the Maroons, this 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 here, guys, yeah, you should know it. Some of you should know it. You're following me, I think, for a little while. This is the Black Giant of Pepper Elder, or AKA Pepper Elder. The Maroons, the Maroons use it a lot, I, I heard, not, not, not for medicinal purposes, but also in food and seasoning, you know. Yeah man, it's a big it's a big plant here. You have it on me some Yeah man. Yeah man, the good. pepper elder guy, the pepper elder. Who know it? Tell me if you know it, the pepper elder. This star mm. uh -huh. is one of the best green skin I've ever tasted. Is this green skin? Yes, yeah, another green skin. But if you notice that I turn brown. Yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah, 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 but it's green skin. Uh-huh. However, if you notice star apple, it's one of the, the fruit that's considered one of the meanest fruit in Jamaica. <laughs> and why it's called the meanest fruit? Because um if you don't pick it, it don't fall. Mm -hmm. It would stay on the tree and ripe and, and dry. dry. But it's not coming down. Yeah. So no matter no, nobody tell us you mean like star apple. Right. If you wanna go, if you want, you have to get it. As you said correctly. Yeah. If somebody say you're you're mean. Yeah. Like star apple means that you're terrible. All right. And yeah. the Jamaicans online know we talk about mean. Yes. You're selfish. Stingy. <laughs> you're stingy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. We're gonna be seeing more Nesbury, huh? more more Nesbury. We're gonna be seeing also um plum, which mm. is the red plum, mm -hmm. cocoa, mm -hmm. and there's a special fruit we call. Cow okra, mm -hmm. or cat okra, mm -hmm. or cucumber, mm -hmm. cucumber fruit. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go over there. All right, guys. So look forward to that, guys. So here we have breadfruit. Uh -huh. It's said to be brought here by Captain Blight. He brought aki and breadfruit to Jamaica. Yeah. And um, breadfruit is such a wonderful fruit. Uh -huh. uh, every breadfruit can feed a family of four. Uh huh. In one Caribbean island today, which is Trinidad and Tobago, uh -huh. each family is encouraged to plant one breadfruit tree at least. Really? Yes. That's okay. a program going on, an active program as we speak. Oh, that's lovely. In Trinidad and Tobago, as we speak. Wow. So this is, so this is a breadfruit tree, guys. And this is the breadfruit. This is a young one here. Not quite ready yet, yes, but this and, is, this is can, a blossom. And it can be eaten at... Breadfruit is one of those fruit that can be eaten at just about any stage of development. Yeah, yeah. So when it's young, it can be eaten. Mid-stage can be eaten. Uh -huh. Right, and it can be... Again, if you're having problem with the regular flower, uh -huh. The breadfruit can be used to turn into flour. Aha. You can also used to make a breadfruit wine. Aha. Roasted breadfruit, fried breadfruit, cooked breadfruit. Aha. Any breadfruit, uh, nice breadfruit. All breadfruit. All breadfruit are good breadfruit. And there's a video on breadfruit <laughs> flour in the description. We did a video on breadfruit flour, you know. Good. Yeah, man, I asked a, a friend of mine. She did a, she, she demonstrated how to make breadfruit flour. So, that, guys, if you're interested in that, it's in the description as well. Lots of learning, man. Come here, getting power pack learning, bonus learning here today. 
All right, so over here we have rose apple. Uh-huh. There isn't any on it. Normally it says to do best uh -huh. in an area where they, where um, it's more moist. Moist. Close so to the rivers. Close and to the rivers and yeah. ponds. Yeah, right? yeah. So. You know we have a, I have a, I have a special, I have a video on that too. And the, ah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Link in the description, guys. Oh, yes, some apple blossom. Blossom. Yes, some apple blossom over yes, there. Some apple blossom there. Right there can there. you see it? Let me let me know if you can see it. There's a little bit of pinkish, reddish. Looking out at you right Yeah, there. looking out there. But that's a, that's the OTAT apple, the Jamaican apple. Jamaican apple right. Peeping through. All right, over here now. So this is what we call the this is the stream we're talking about. Okay. Yeah, like this is the cow. Cow okra. Cow okra. okra. Uh-huh. Cucumber fruit. Yes, yes. Yeah. This is another unusual fruit. Yeah. Somebody ah. know this one. All right, so I'm going to be cut it across so you can see what it looks like. Uh-huh. So we cut it across. Uh-huh. And this is what it looks like right here. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. And so I'm going to be tasting it. Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? People are asking right now. <laughs> mm, delicious. It's like a combination of pineapple and uh, and sugar cane. All right. I, I should have a taste. Yeah, man. So this is the cow okra. Cow cat okra. Cat okra. okra. Wild, and, wild uh, cucumber. Yeah, all kind of name. name. Right. But the scientific name we put on screen. Right. Right. It's on screen right now. But this is it. Do you eat all of it? Yeah, man. And, and the sheep love it. Right? Yeah, the sheep normally love it. When the sheep comes, showy. Yeah, when they normally come, they normally. Yeah, Sweet. Hmm. Yeah. Hard to say. What, what fruit is it? What fruit is it? You say? Pineapple? I said it's a um, combination of pineapple and sugar cane. Yeah. Which is also guava in it, too. Yeah, it mix up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, guava, sugar cane, pineapple probably is the best definition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, this is the cocoa that makes. Coffee, cocoa tea, cocoa tea and cocoa chocolate. and chocolate. Yes, I almost said, I almost said coffee. Sorry, guys. This is the green one. Normally, yes. normally when it's more mature and near ready, it's yellow. Mm -hmm. So this is the green one right here. I was gonna say to you, you know, there can't be a farm tour without without the original old time Jamaican cocoa and it, you know. So I'm happy you found that man. Right. And that is what makes the the, the, the the flavorful Jamaican chocolate tea. Exactly. I did a video on that too. And for all the ladies who love the, the, the chocolate, mm -hmm. this is it. That's the source. All right, let's go over here. Here we have, this is one, this is one of the plum, the, we call the red plum, mm -hmm. uh, coolie plum. Mm -hmm. So this one is ready to, to be consumed. Mm -hmm. So if you notice when it's at, at a younger stage, you'll have this um, greenish color then turn near red. Mm -hmm. So this one is ready. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to sample it? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, here, here's, here's a lady who's doing the sampling, right? So she's gonna sample it. Okay, cool. All right. So that which one is this again? So this is the red plum. Red Jamaican plum. Red plum. All right. Jamaican this one red. the children love dearly. That's not but, the hog plum. No, not the hog plum. Another another. Yeah. Okay. The, the only sad thing is that um they are diluting the, the flavor of the the the, the 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 plum. Some children add like salt to it and pepper. Oh, okay. It, it should be just eating just like that. Man. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, That's yes. the best way to eat it. Just yes, like that. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. All right, over here we have a different type of tree called navel orange. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm seeing any. Let me take a show. Sure. Wash, 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 wash. So if you look at the bottom right here, mm -hmm. not so. Uh, yeah. It, well, as it gets bigger, the navel will be more protruded, so that's why it's called navel orange. Okay. All okay. right. All of these are natural, local, organic organically grown here on your farm here and more lemongrass more lemongrass here guys abundant another nesberry tree here more nesberry. more nesberry tree more banana down there and then we have custard, apple. custard apple here more lemongrass more breadfruit tree with more young breadfruit Ah, uh, cool. Here is now we're gonna be we're gonna be going up there. The last part of the tour right here. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we do go there, we're gonna be we're gonna be rehydrating. So we're gonna be uh, having the coconuts from here, right? All right. Good. So, so this this tour before we actually we, we, we actually take on this next leg. This, yes. Uh, I should let my audience, what viewers know, that you actually do tours. You actually do tours. So, so, um, so who, who, who is your target? 
target audience? Our target audience is we have schools, mm -hmm. and when we say schools, um, well, for educational let's use educational institutions mm -hmm. from kindergarten, kindergarten mm -hmm. to to a university, mm -hmm. and um, regular local guests, mm -hmm. visitors to the island, mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. just about everybody who wants to mm -hmm. get um, to be at you know at be one with nature. Mm -hmm. This is the place for you. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. This is where you learn about things, about fruits and vegetables and herbs. Yes. Yes. Right. All naturally grown family friendly environment as well exactly and just and the and it's just very peaceful and calm in here quiet cool area here guys in blue fields in beautiful parish the best parish right west Milan, jamaica no yeah, doubt about that miss jammer right it's one of <laughs> 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 all right bonus for you guys i'm gonna cut coconut jamaican style right, so this <laughs> let me see how skilly me so don't do this at home please <laughs> Ah. Uh, that's why it's refreshment time. Rehydration time. Rehydration time. And actually, let me just introduce everybody. Let me introduce you to the team that we have here, guys. This is Miss, again, Miss Sandra, Sandra, Sandra Wedderburn, the secure. The Bluefish Organic yeah. Farm team. Yes, 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 and this is Miss T, Miss Topidu, uh, my right hand here, and this is Miss Jamrock, Miss Jamrock from Miss Jamrock YouTube, oh, ja YouTube.com, Miss Jamrock, the guru and Negril, the guru and Hanover, the guru and Western Jamaica, is that it? All right. It's time to reagitate. Who's going, who's going yeah, man, first? Go. Don't be shy, Miss Jamrock, go on. Oh, oh, she's busy with it. Oh, she's busy. Oh, oh, okay. all right. She's busy this time. Around. So for, for one, she's not going first. All right, good, good. No man, she have enough fruits, you know. She she not run for the fruits, you know. You see? Let me see. Let's see what she have in her hand here. Oh, there's a little piece left. <laughs> All right. And and if, if persons are um, we talk about your target audience. If persons are interested in the in the um, farm tour, the farm tour. There's a link in the description. They can they can reach out to you. Reach out to him. Reach out to them, guys. There's a yeah. We have a contact information. Yes, yeah, so we have a Facebook page. We also have an Instagram page, also. Yeah, man. Awesome. Good work. Good work. Good work here. All right. So, all right. Nobody's ready. Jam rock, no, man. What about your wife? Give your wife first, man. No, 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 no. All right. Give me one. Give me one. Miss Jamrock still enjoying the fruits, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Cheers. It's your knife here, sir. This step is going to take us to the to the highest point of the tour right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And normally, persons who are less agile, mm -hmm. we don't take them here. Mm -hmm. However, once you go to the top of the tour, this is where you're going to be rewarded because you have a panoramic view of the Caribbean Ocean. You can also see the where the mountain kiss the sea, mm -hmm. and we're talking about the Bluefish Mountain and the Cave Mountain. All right. That's what we're going to see when we get up there. All right, sir. Yeah. Uh huh. And by the way, remember, meanwhile, meanwhile, they're picking up more Nesbury. Yeah, remember, we spoke about the Nesbury that is so. This is the Nesbury tree, is over 100 years old. Yeah. Uh -huh. We spoke about it being very, very sweet. Uh -huh. And um, the taste, the proof of the pudding is always in the eating. eating. So, here, ma'am, you taste it and tell us if it lives up to the. Here, over here. You say this is one of the. Mm -hmm. Smoothest eating is very and sweet, and this is like the baby one. So, thank you. This is not even a mother one, this is a little baby. But this one fell off a tree, right? Mm -hmm. Naturally, all right. Mm -hmm. That's a baby one. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna go up. Nice. So, from this vantage point, this is the highest point of the, the farm, the land that occupies the farm. So, this is where the farm stay is, and also you can now look and view the farm below and as you can see the farm is the entire room we say the farm is two and a third acre so you can see all the various fruits and vegetables from this and herbs from this anger mm -hmm. and then as you raise your eyes over and up mm -hmm. you can see the mountains mm -hmm. and um, you're looking at the blue fields and cave mountain all the way up if you look at those um those towers mm -hmm. that's all the way up to content mm -hmm. and content is near Dalestan. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's where you have the towers like for the um, radio station, those for the police, JDF, 
Because mm -hmm. that's a high point and that's where they get the best signal. Mm -hmm. To the right, it takes you to New Market. Mm -hmm. And then back over now, you can come all the way down. There's a road that goes across the mountain Try from Cape Go all the way up to Bog in Westmoreland. Mm -hmm. And you come all the way down and you're going to take you down over the foot. So you're, you're looking at Bluefields right here that if you're seeing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pointing at a church right there. I don't know if you're seeing the top of the mm -hmm. church. Yes, yes, yes. That's the Bluefields Anglican Church. Mm -hmm. And if you look right across, come across, that's the Bluefields Beach down there, a road coming down that's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the new road to the beach. Because mm -hmm. the old road is beside, exactly beside the beach, but that's a new road coming down to the mm -hmm. beach. Mm -hmm. And then come across in the background, that's Froome over there. Mm -hmm. You have Froome over there and then you come down to Paradise Park. Mm -hmm. Paradise Park. And then all the way down now, okay, so this is Belmont in the forefront. Mm -hmm. And in the background, you're going over further down and to Savannah Lamar mm -hmm. and with Orange Hill Mountain in the background. Awesome, awesome. And so, so this now, Mr. Yeah, we spoke this now, Mr. Wedderburn, is, is your home state. Yes. So, we, we spoke about the farm, and we also said over the years we have evolved from just a farm into farm stay. Mm -hmm. And the farm stay is where someone who comes to the farm mm -hmm. and want, to, want a little extra, mm -hmm. want a little more for hospitality, mm -hmm. want a little bit more of um, what we offer in terms of our health, mm -hmm. healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Come on in, let us show you what our farm stay is. Right? Mm -hmm. right. I don't keep going with the glass. So oh, this is lovely. How are you doing great? Oh, cool. This is nice. So this is this is yeah. So this is we have two rooms which is mm. which is ready and up. Mm -hmm. so this is one room right here. So mm -hmm. as you can see, on oh, in terms of our rooms, our room comes with modern amenities, mm -hmm. uh, king size bed. Mm -hmm. We're talking about king, real king. Mm -hmm. and, um, in this area, of an extra seated area. Mm -hmm. You have your refrigerator, mm -hmm. microwave, mm -hmm. your flat screen television mm -hmm. to watch, your little dining table inside here, mm -hmm. you have extra seating here from here. Mm -hmm. And if you want to stay inside your room and view that exquisite view of the mountains mm -hmm. and the sea, you can stay right here in your room and see all of that. Right lovely, here. lovely. Right. So glass want, windows. Right, glass. If you want to draw your rail and black it out, you can block it. If you don't want to black it out, it's mm -hmm. all yours. Lovely, lovely, right. lovely, lovely. So love it, love it, love it, guys. This is beautiful here in the country. So this room is complemented by a bathroom over here. Uh -huh. So this is a bathroom over here, a walk-in. Uh -huh. It's a walk-in um, bath. Sure, yeah. Walk-in shower. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. This is lovely, man. Well done, very well done. And we have facilities for both male and female. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. And uh, over here, the ladies, especially who want to do their hair, you have a nice hair dryer here. Uh -huh. just, just for the ladies. Alright, cool. Well, we're not, we're marginalized against the men, but we know the yes, ladies. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Very nice, yes. very nice. I'm impressed. And from here also, you, while you're in the bathroom, you can still have a view, a uh, majestic view of the mountains. Yeah, so what you're seeing here, this is not a picture on the wall, guys. That is actually the window looking outside. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful, beautiful. Alright, good, 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 good. Well done, man. Thank you very, very much. Well so from done. here, we're going to go to room two, which we call the upper deck. Mm -hmm. So, because we call it upper deck, you'll have to walk up to go up to the next room. Well, all these are independent because they have a different door from there. So, mm -hmm. not like, but you can, so you can open into one or it can be separate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now I'm going to let it end at each tour. We have um, fruits for sampling. Mm -hmm. And some of these fruits are, are from the farm, mm -hmm. some are not from the farm. Right now, we don't have any plants that are from the farm, but the the nest berry, the banana, and the star of from the farm. Awesome. Yes. And it looks good too. Right. Looks good too. All right. Go ahead and sample Miss Jamrock. <laughs> I know you love that part, Miss Jamrock. <laughs> yes, my fruit. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. Love it. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Pardon? So we have banana. We have stuff. We have banana. We have um, pineapple. pineapple nest berry. Nest berry. Papaya. Papaya. And... This is lovely. Thank you guys. This is awesome, Mr. Wedderburn. Congratulations, man, on what you're doing. Thank you very much. And what is to come? Because we know this you're gonna go great places. Yeah, this is a family affair. Um, I, I have I have been doing it alone. I have the support of my lovely wife Sanja and my two children who are not here but they are here. Yeah. Not physical, but they are here. So it's a family affair. We have been working. 
Yeah. Um, very hard over the years, and um, this is where we are, and more to come. Congrats, man. We want, we need to diversify our offering here in Jamaica, and definitely what you're doing here is testament, and it's an example. I'm going to take a look in the background here. An example to many others of what we can do with what we have, natural stuff that we have here in, in, in Jamaica. Congrats. If people are interested in the tour or in the in the, the homestay, whichever one, how, how can they reach you? Well, they can reach us. We have, uh, well, there are two ways, three ways. We're on Instagram, Luffy's Organic Farm. Mm -hmm. We're also on, we also have a Facebook group mm -hmm. that you can um, learn more about us and follow us. Mm -hmm. And they can go direct to us, which is uh, 873, 876, sorry, that's our Jamaican local code, 876, and it's 373-6435. And if my email is bluefieldsorganicfarm at gmail.com. Bluefieldsorganicfarm at gmail.com. And I, again, I repeat my number. 876-373-6435. Fantastic. All the best. Good job, man. Thank you. You're most welcome. All right. That's it, my friend. The beautiful Bluefields Organic Farm tour with Mr. Wedderburn and his wife. Lovely. That's true. I need your help. I need you to help me to get your message out. Share this video right now. We need to promote small people like these. They're taking organic, local, natural Jamaican stuff and turning them into products, into solutions. Come on, help me, help them. Share this message right now. There's another video you need to see. I did a, an impromptu visit to Mr. Mark and his wife, an old couple in the hills of St. James. I did a little farm tour with them. I think you'll like that one too in the description and it's in the card above. See you in that one.